for what second time recording because I did a big whoopsie. How you doing fellas? Today I come to you with a challenge. This is a bit of a different video because I normally don't do this, but today I challenge you to walk barefoot in the rockiest path you can find. Essentially a gravel road. It doesn't really matter as long as it's rocky and painful to your feet. And the best thing of all, you do it barefoot. And let's see how long you can last. Now, you might be relating this video to the other one I did about how to walk, although I doubt it because no one watched it, so you might not know you might not even know that it exists, but this has nothing to do with that. In that video, I taught you how to talk to yourself, but in this video, I am essentially challenging you to see how long you can last in pain and how you deal with it. Let's see where your mind goes. Mine, of course, goes to Bruce Lee, the OG. I essentially just tell myself, Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. And I just let the pain wash through me, because I'm water. And I just kept telling myself, like, I'm not in pain, I'm not my pain, I'm not my fucking pain, I'm not my feet, I'm not the feelings that I'm currently feeling. I choose which feelings are useful to me, and these are not useful or important to me. Therefore, I can ignore them. That's not how pain works, but you get the gist. So yeah, that's the challenge. Go outside, barefoot, bare naked, Revolution? Overthrow the government? Uh, I think so. And let's see how long you can last in pain. That's essentially it. Now, you might have some concerns, and you might be thinking, what if strangers see me and what they do? It doesn't fucking matter, because strangers are going to think you're nuts either way, and you just have to look at them and see them for who they are. Are they fat? Sad? Depressed? Kind of the same thing. If they do, don't fucking care about what they think. If you're nothing like the person you want to be, why listen to them? Now this challenge reminds me of the scene in Fight Club where the guy is essentially pouring acid in his fucking hand and he's going like But it's not as hardcore. But it's the same concept. You're truly in the moment with this form of meditation. There's nowhere else to be but right here and right now. Although, you know, you get the point. You're, like, you're not really here right now. It's like in the future you're going to be walking. You're, uh, you're going to be like, oh fuck, this fucking hurts. But yeah, you're going to be right there and there right there and then, or whatever the fuck you would call it. You're gonna be in a lot of pain, but remember, you're not your pain, you're not your trauma. Whatever the fuck has happened to you, wherever the fuck you may come from, whatever happened to you in the past or in the future or right now, it doesn't matter. Because right now, you choose who you wanna be. And that's that. And with that, I take my leave. Thanks for watching, and I'm not gonna say goodnight because you still have to watch the rest of the video, but peace out. I guess I don't know you know you're gonna watch the video but you get the point like you're gonna keep watching and it's essentially gonna result in a lot of our well thanks mate for making that serious video uh, now into the actual proof right now this is not total gravel uh, but it's time to acclimatize my feet to the sand because it's nice and warm so I don't want to do that before you know stepping into straight up rocks so this is where the socks come off so you gotta be careful because anything you do or say from now on will be considered gay in a court of law, okay? You don't you no longer have protection. Oh, also the crocs come off. That'd be stupid if I didn't. Alright, so I've lost my speed boost. That's okay. I don't need it. You can see barefoot. I gotta censor that because I can't sell that shit for free, you know? But look at this pretty day. You know, it's sand, it's not really straight up, like, you know, rocks, like gravel road. But we'll get up there, you know, that's where we're planning to go today, if they're willing to cooperate. If we're being assholes today, they're not, they're being nice today, but if they're being, if they start becoming assholes, then uh, it might be a little complicated to walk on those roads, because they generally want to just walk 10 minutes and then go back home. These fucking lazy, lazy muttons, but... Just gotta acclimatize my little grippers. And you just gotta be careful, man, because you can't have any contact with any dudes because you know, the socks are off, so anything you do or say to them will be gay. You know, you don't have that protection anymore. So you gotta be careful, okay? Mm, good pee pee. Or not eat that, bro. So before we get to the road that's over yonder, uh, let me explain to you how I came about this form of torture <laughs> masochism i don't know what you call it but essentially uh, a couple not a couple years ago like a year ago i think i started doing this because i had some concerns about my feet you know i had i grew up with i wasn't flat-footed but my arc 
my arch had collapsed or whatever the fuck like you caved in and that would impact my knees i never had knee pain but the way we would solve it is by using those things those insoles that you put that have like a built-in arc to it and it's like very pronounced and i was just using that for a long time and it I, I used that for years dude i was like 12 and i used it until i was 17 dude i'm sure there's like a better way and that's when i stumbled into squat university dude i learned quite a lot and essentially kind of what i learned is that shoes just well first and foremost there's quite a quite a few impacts that shoes have modern shoes have on your feet first and foremost your your foot your your big toe is actually squished in and i think your tiny toe as well well at least i feel it like that so you actually grow up like a bit fucked up with your feet and it's actually quite harder to squat like that because you don't have the tripod foot, which you should normally have when you squat for maximal stability. Brother, the tornado, I struck again. Come here. And the same, the, it, it kind of also impacts the deadlift, but not as much. The squat is where I notice it the most. And you just want to spread your toes apart. So uh, also the first thing you want to be careful with when you first do these things is not do it raw the first time i did it i was starting over there when i took where i took off my crocs that's where i started actually like the first time i ever did it because i realized like okay rocks are gonna be hard so I might as well do it on sand so i did and then i would go i would come all the way up to here well i'll be in the moment and that's where i'll put on my shoes again and walk over the rocks because they were really hard to do at first and I'm not, I'm not even kidding, dude. Like, the sensation you get the first time you do it, it's fucking... Wow, it's one of a kind, dude. I'm getting the feeling of coming. I got high, dude. I, I honestly got high off of the feeling that I was having on my feet because you're always wearing socks. You're always wearing shoes. You're never actually stepping with... You're never using your grippers, man. And so the feeling you have on your grippers, you, you, you've lost that shit. So when you're actually stepping on rough stuff, it's like wow these are new sensations you've never felt before it's like having it's like it's like touching a woman for the first time you know it's like when the first time a woman touches you dude you're like oh my god oh my god right you're like holy shit you, you you're like bust immediately she just gave you a high five and you bust i jerked you off at super speed so it seemed like you nutted at just a woman's touch but yeah now we've arrived to the all forsaken path the gravel path ah fuck you know it's, it's starting to get like a bit rough here this guy's being a bit of a fucking asshole come on dude come on anyways this is the start as you can see from that god forsaken my grippers path okay they're being they're being assholes now but the first time i ever walked through here fuck it was like it was like coming, dude. It's like how bump felt. feels like coming. Oh, these dogs don't want to walk, but... Alright, so now it's more gravelly. As you can tell, I still have my grippers out. But over yonder, I don't know if you can... You can't really tell, but there's a person. And I'm not sure if she's... Uh, I think she was leaving. Oh. But I was going to give you also an example of like... Why you shouldn't really care about what they think. Because, uh... Who fucking cares? It's like, this is... This is fun and painful, but it's a, it's a growing experience, so why would you let it be impacted by someone who's, you know, who you don't care about? Uh, that's that's the one tip I have for you. If someone's like, looks at you weird and you ha and you feel compelled to like, tell them what you're doing, just say, oh, therapy. And they'll be like, oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Literally, people are like, no, wait. but honestly, like, this is a very good form of therapy because as I was telling you before, before these guys were being rude uh i used to wear insoles all the time and at one point we went to renew them and i just kind of like i didn't flip out on the office obviously i just like we went and got the fucking things and i was like no nah, i'm not wearing these fuckers <laughs> and we spent uh, that's the cool thing about belgium like you get a lot of the insurance covers a lot of the medical stuff like quite a lot so those things were quite pricey but like they were 150 euros, I think. Which might be like, holy shit, that's like a whole pair of shoes, dude. But the insurance pays for like 90% of it. So we ended up paying fucking 
like 30 bucks and that's like wow so i have like brand new insoles that i've never worn so because i went out and did this and it helped out a lot like on god my feet were so like my whole knee complex and my my feet were so fucked it, it, it wasn't painful to walk or anything but this it would have led to that i'm 100 percent sure it would have led to that and that's mainly because you're not making the muscles strong they think that you have to make an arch and you have to support it with the insole and that's wrong you have to actually strengthen the muscles that support like the the ankle and uh yeah you, i never did that i never walked uh, barefoot when i was a kid my mom was a bit of a overprotector you know so i ended up growing up with weak feet my sister did as well so yeah whatever but if you have if you if you sort of relate to this i recommend you do this i don't think it's necessary to do it on a gravel road this is only for the pain side of things and for you to like show yourself like napasha bobo oh, you're gonna get peed on uh but yeah if you're just starting out listen there's two there's there's two sides of the coin right so either you want to see you want to strengthen your feet I recommend you don't walk through here because this doesn't do anything to strengthen your your feet. This is only like a pain sort of metric. Something painful you can do right now. But if you want to strengthen your feet, I recommend walking on sand or walking on concrete. Or if you're more of a masochist like I am, just walk through this and prove and prove to yourself I'm prove my wrong. That mama did not raise no bitch. Ah oh, fuck me. And anything you do, like, here's the, here's the deal. This is not the longest road I'm going to walk through today. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that shit is painful. Oh, but I'm not my, I'm not my fucking pain. I'm not the fucking feet. The feelings are not me. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, the feelings do not hold me. They don't control me. Fuck, you know. Yeah, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit cringe to actually record it. It sounds, it sounds cooler when you're doing it by yourself, honestly. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. But essentially, when you're walking through here, I think you should you start saying some, like, <laughs> philosophical shit, like, kind of like Bruce Lee says, like, be like, water, my friend. Water does not. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. You know, you can say stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not essentially talking about water, but because, you know, this is essentially trial by fire. All that it's missing is fucking fire, right? But if it's painful enough. And so, oh, you also might cut yourself, dude. So the first time I did this, if you're going in raw and it's like the first time you do anything like this, it might actually be dangerous because some of these rocks, you know, are sharp sharp little fuckers and they can cut you i was never i never cut myself because i had a uh, sort of built up to it in a sense and you really just need like a couple of days of walking barefoot on pavement or on some sort of rougher surface that's not totally this i think this is the hardest thing you can walk on because it's always like one of these fuckers can just you know you can just step on it real hard on your heel and it just sucks, dude. It sucks so much. And also, it's kind of, it's a, it's a bit like the deadlift on God. And you might be like, how the fuck is walking like deadlifting? It's like when you're one rep max of any lift. Your CNS gets fried, literally. It's so hard to actually get back into this. And right, so I'll, I'll be walk, I'll, I'll be finishing this road in a bit because we're approaching the park, which we're gonna walk through, and I'm gonna put my sandals on there because. There's a lot of spiders there. It's it's a fucking jungle. So I don't want to I don't want to become Spider-Man, you know? Your feet sort of relax. And when you start encountering the pain the pain again of walking through a gravel road, you just want to quit. You don't want to do it. It's actually much harder to to do it in separate goes. It's much easier to do, to do everything in one go. So, uh yeah, I didn't think this through. Mainly because this road is a bit more, you know, no one really goes through here that often, so I thought it was better to record through in here. 
than the other road because the other road is full of bikers. I fucking hate those bastards. I'm not against bikes. It's just that they, they, they have no manners. They ride right past you. It's like, dude, I have dogs, man. I have dogs and you're going next to me. You're going to fucking run them over. Big dookie. Ooh, yummers. Yummers. I'm not my pain. I'm not my pain. This fucking pain has no hold over me. I control the feet. I control what stops me and what doesn't fucking stop me. This is but fucking nothing. Just breathe. Look at this. Pain is but the feeling. Feelings are not real. I am fucking real. I have hold over what my body does. I have hold over what my body feels. And this is something I refuse to fucking care about. I'm not my pain. The pain does not control me. It controls me a little bit. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how I set it because I was going through a bit of a rough patch. But one of the tips I have for when you're actually just walking uh, anywhere you want is, uh, well, first and foremost, have Crocs. Have something that doesn't require socks because your feet are gonna get dirty, like real fucking dirty. So for you to put them, for you to put socks on that, that's wild. <laughs> that's, that's like savage, bro. It's like what savages do. And I don't mean like the Jake Paul kind, I mean like actual fucking deranged people who are cannibals. So just make sure you you have the log logistics figured out. Maybe you want to bring a towel, but I don't know how that's going to help. Usually to remove most of the dirt and stuff you have on your feet, you need to scrub that shit real hard too. It's not that easy to... Come on, buddy. Oh, he's blind, he... Badonk. Look at this place. Ain't that already a fucking mosquito? That's because. As you can tell, I'm not the best cameraman. I'm trying, okay? Give me a break. But look at this place. Ain't ain't this a beauty? Ain't this something pretty? Ain't ain't that right, boy? Hell yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Now look at this place, dude. Oh shit, look at that leaf, dude. It looks like a it looks like a chicken's foot. No? Or like a I, I thought uh, that looks like what a dinosaur's dinosaur's whoa, I can't speak. A dinosaur's feet would look like. That's what I think. But dude, that was perfectly triangular. What the fuck? Shit was cool. I'm just thinking that I have become the guy that tells you, go touch grass, man. Bless ya. Uh, but we've arrived to our place of torture. That's not where we're going. I gotta flip. I do a little flip. I gotta. Ah, here we are. There's a tractor on the distance. That's the girl that ran past me. And let's get walking. That's the footpath I was talking about. Straight up concrete. Which is gonna be a good, I don't know, in between her. Now luckily the rocks, as you can, as you can see, they're not as big. That's like the biggest rock I've seen. And usually, since cars used to drive through here, they don't, they don't, they've sort of blocked the road now, but they've, uh, oh shit, there's a car coming. Talking, talk, speak of the devil and he'll show up. Fucking hell. Literally, cars are very rare around this road. Uh, see? 
Because they sort of realize, like, oh, shit, I can't go here. So they back off. I guess we'll I'll walk through here a little bit because my feet are very, very, very sore. Ah, oh, fuck it. That's pussy talk. That's what pussies say. Oh, you can guide it. Rente. Yeah, something I also like to do is take my shirt off when uh, when I reach the sun bit because hey, a tan has never hurt nobody unless it's like sun can like skin cancer, but that's for pussies, All right? So yeah, the, the the this road is not as bad as the other one, but it it is much longer, which is I guess either you take intensity for a short amount of time or you you know go a bit longer and it's less intense it still fucking hurts you know those tiny fucking rocks still get in your fucking heel and you're fucking having to deal with that pain I'm gonna take my shirt off here but anyway like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go back home and I'm just gonna edit this video but that's essentially the challenge dude just find a gravel road it doesn't have to be that bad and just walk walk on it and see how you fucking deal with it will you stick with it or will you not i have to stop here so i have to take my shirt off but yeah see you later so with that i take my leave thanks for watching and good night say good night biker came by Looked me like I was fucking insane. I guess last thing I wanted to point out is make society your bitch. Who cares about the norms? Who cares about whether or not it's weird to be out with your grippers, you know, and out shirtless? If it's a fucking beautiful day, why the fuck would you wear a jacket just because that's what everyone wears? You know, just do your own stuff. And I don't know if people will follow, but... At least you're having fun and you're getting the most out of it. Because honestly, who fucking cares? Anyway, uh, on to the outro again. Hey. Good night. Good night, fellas.